Good morning, this is Zephy from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap. I haven't been on Ustream for ages and everything's nice and quiet here in the house so I thought I'll do a bit of streaming for the next hour. Um, I'm not sure we'll have many people joining us due to the hour. It must be the middle of the night now in America and um, it should be midday in Australia because it's 8 o'clock here in Greece. But um, I streamed yesterday and my video had no sound so I have erased it and um, this is what I made. It's, it's on a manila card, a Ranger manila card and um, I just stamped lightly on it, gessoed, I colorized the little dress with my Neo Color 2, my Derwans, and some twinkling H2O's. I made the little flower. The flower is uh, Donna Salazar Spellbinders rolled flower. I'm actually not sure about the name because um, if you know me, you know I'm streaming away from home right now. Although looking at it now, I see that there is maybe too much dimension on it for an envelope. Unless I put in a bubble envelope because I wanted to um, send this off in an envelope so I don't know what we'll do. I think the rest we'll have to put in um, the rest we'll have to put less dimensional flowers. Okay so um, Yesterday while I was spraying and making this I used some aquarelle paper and I quite like that. Can you see I use it I use it to mist on. I've got quite a glare here. Let's see if I can close this curtain. That's much better, hey? I've got all the morning light coming in here, so so I've decided to use these two as tags. I want to make at least um, seven because as you all know I had a dress form challenge going on and I want to make something for all the girls that sent me stuff. So this You know why I wanted the white tags? I wanted the white tags for this little bust. This little corset. This is also a stamp. It's a Prima stamp, I think. Here it is. No, it isn't. It's not a Prima stamp. I'm lying. It's Stamperia. And I thought it would be nice on a white background. I have two floating around. And then I've also... I cut this out, Latifa sent me a parcel yesterday and she had this cardboard in to uh, protect the thing so I just found that because that was on hand so I'm going to use that okay so maybe we can just create, I have nothing planned we'll just uh, play it by ear as they say and um, we'll get on with it eh? This this pink here is actually just acrylic paint that I bought from a hardware shop. It's Benjamin Moore. It's considered a good acrylic paint for walls. And what I did is I used a picked raspberry distress stain, distress ink, and this and I just mixed it up and I got that colour there. So I'm quite happy with that. I think I may add some vintage paper to this, we'll see now. Or we may add a little bit more of this paper. I'll show you that. Oh, I'm being silly now, I'm using the wrong dabber. Uh, all about me, Prima paper really a nice range
You can see that's the one I cut the little um, corsets out of. That's floral. I had a pink one like this. Where did I put it? What should we work on? Let's work on the bodice. If you want the white of the paper to show, then you pull you pull it towards you and what happens is you get the white little bit of paper showing, can you see? So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. It's too short, too small. And um, what I did last time was, but I wonder where it is. I used the little stick to sand this on. Let's see. I used the sucker stick. I don't know if I have any more. And my table is really wonky. I don't have more. We're going to have to cut um, a little cardboard. This could be nice. Though that's quite pretty. We'll just make a little stand. What do you say? This piece of cardboard is the, it's a piece of packaging, the inside of some packaging, which I thought was quite nice, so we'll just use that. Um, as you know, I love using recycled stuff. Um, I don't see the point in going to buy uh, things that... Um, you can perhaps find at home. For instance, this cardboard, this little piece of board now is going to be absolutely perfect for what I want it. Um, I'm not even going to take off the pencil. I'm just inking it up. And it's got the little diagonal stripe that's going to work absolutely wonderful with this. You know what this is? This is compressed. This is toilet paper. Roll of uh, layers of toilet paper that have been. Um, wet in wood glue and then uh, press through a cuddle bug folder, embossing folder. That will make a nice dress form actually. You know what I want? I want a bit of this. Well, this these are the little shoes from a stamp set that I cut out yes that I had yesterday that I stamped. And that could be quite nice. I 
I don't like the base of this um, dress form that I made down here. I think it's too thin, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'll embellish it over there. So you won't really see the base. I think these shoes will be beautiful with some um, glossy accents over them. And I would have loved some red archival ink. There's something special about red shoes. Um, I had a lovely response to my dress form challenge. I sent off the first kit, which was for the comment section. And um, I was going to do the draw tomorrow for the girls that sent in a project, but I decided I'll wait until Monday so that um, if there's any more arrivals I can get them today and on Monday morning. We, we need to do something in there, can you see? You know what I've got here is an old magazine and when I opened it the other day there were quite a few ads with people. With um, ads of clothes shops. in the front although I don't know if I like the yellow section of it can you see the paper's yellowed I actually think I'm going to keep it white uh, I'm not going to use that change my mind. The dot could be quite nice. It's too pink. Okay, um, I want some more pink on that. I've lost my pink tab. Da -da. I don't like that color. It was too dark. I'm going to um, ink it up with pink. So I'm cutting it again. There we go. Can you see it's starting to come together? 
let's um, just glue this down not lose our little compart little bits and pieces I'm a very messy scrapbooker I must admit I can work in a whole lot of mess uh. So, um, I love using this glue, it's a Claudia Helmet glue. Um, I like putting glue on both sides of my paper. And I just need to go and get a bit of water for my brush. I'm going to go and get some water now. Just excuse me for a second. I'm going to fill my jar with water. going to cut off the excess from here um, so what we have so far is this we have a little stand we have this with a shoe which I want to distress a little bit more I'll put glossy accents on the shoe. I want now, I want to maybe add some printing or something else, a little bit more texture in onto that. Okay. I've got the stamp here. So we'll add little bit of music and a little bit of script down the end there and we'll do it in sepia because I don't want it to be I don't want it too bright because I must probably add black on top of that to make it all pop I don't want it to be a perfect stamp either Okay, you see, just a tiny bit. I'll add a bit more black on top of that now, and um, then it will be better. We'll add this this little section. So what we can do is just ink it up, and I haven't inked it up very well, and I've done that purposely because. Um, I don't want it to be a solid kind of stamp and I also don't want anything on the white so I'm just going to mask that off I'm aiming for this piece here okay so it's just very very lightly stamped because that's exactly what I want. I want it to be like a background. And I actually think I may want to add more things there. That's too big. Uh, 
the lace I find that the lace is almost too harsh for um, that's quite nice the daisies are also going to be nice this is the um, old trim I found at a uh, a junky kind of antique store. It's this little guy that sells junk. I wouldn't even call it antiques in the park on a table. And I asked him to find me some laces and he came up with this stuff. So we're going to use that. And I'm, I'm putting out now what I may use and what I may not use. I quite like this little one too. I just want to see if there's any in chat. Oh, I see. Um, I see you. But like I said, I'm having such a problem. Hi, Eleni. How are you? <laughs> no, I don't have red shoes, Eleni. Um, there's, I've got an hour of quiet, so I thought I'll stream quickly. I've just found something that I love. Instead of the lace. Now you see that's got a cream bottom, a cream background. I don't like that. I want it all to have a white background. I'm a little bit anal that way. I prefer this piece here. I want to keep this card pretty flat so um, that's why I'm not adding the lace and the lace was brown like a beige I don't want that either I want to keep it white this was too big and too bulky so I don't like that so I've scrapped that this is how I land up with a uh, hundred things on my desk at, after a project I think we're going to pop the shoe up I'm going to put glossy accents on it and pop it up. I'm going to pop this up too, but now I want something down here. We are going to cut out something else.
You're actually right, Eleni. Washi tape does come in handy. Um, the only problem is I don't have a huge collection of washi tape, so. And you know what? It's it's a, it's funny how it's all a matter of the eye. Um, that looks fine, but you know what? Washi tape would have looked better. Um, because it's finer, it's not so. It doesn't have such a big. Do you know what this this is wrong? This has to be an oval. I know it's not going to show much underneath um, the flowers and stuff, but you know how I am. Let's see how this looks now. Lenny, how come you're up so early, Lenny? It's totally chaotic on this desk. My little grandson touches everything. I actually don't know where my eraser is. So I let him go off with the stuff that um, he can't open. This is definitely not a mirror image. But I'm happier. <clears throat> and I'm going to use a white flower with another little flower on top of it. Yes, yes, yes. that was some scratching that was happening there I'm looking for my flower punches and where is that paper pad We will just cut, I think, a small flower. These are really nice punches, but my table's too wobbly. I bought these in Belgium last year. They're from, it's a floral punch from, here. Yeah, I don't know the make, but it's it's a punch plus a little embosser. So you punch out the little flower and then you emboss it. And it's really quite cute for custom made things. I like that. I'm going to do a bigger one too. I'm punching them off the table because my table is very rickety. And <laughs> 
Actually, you know what, Eleni? Um, one can get used to being on oneself. I, I must admit, I got very used to being with myself. And when Rafael and Michael were here, I could almost not handle the noise. Anyway, I'm used to it again. I've got little Nina running in and out here, so it's, it's really hectic. Um, but it's, you know, um, it's nice to do what you just feel like doing. I think one can become quite selfish in that aspect. What I'm doing is I've used the same paper as the bodice, but I'm inking it up, the flower, and I think I'm going to put add a little bit of gesso in the center. And I'm going to do that before I emboss it, because obviously, you know, if you wet paper, then I'm going to lose the embossing, you know, you lose the embossing effect. So we'll just add a tiny bit of gesso. So I can mute the colors. And I'm going to do the same to this one. I'll just re-emboss this little one. So it won't look exactly like the bodice, but the same the same idea will be there so that it will match. That's the easiest way of matching things up is use the same paper range or just ink up something. And um, of course, if the paper is a little bit damp, it will emboss so much more, so much better. Okay, please come out. I can't believe it's stuck. And my pokey tool is gone who knows where. I don't want to use the scissors because I may uh, damage the point. I don't want that to happen either. I'm just going to get a pin quickly. Okay, is it time to wrap this up? What's the time? I've got some time. My father-in-law's gone swimming. I didn't go today. I don't like what's happening in the middle of this flower. I'm going to boss it the other way. I don't like this big bumper tears. Look. Um, we could actually leave it like that and just use some um, this is a Sakura gel pen a glitter gel pen so I didn't bring stickles with me so that will have to do there we go okay I think I need to get this finished. What do you say? I want some more. I want something else in here. I have a tiny bit of this green. I don't even know what that is, but I think it's going to work. I, I, I think it's dilutions, diluted. <laughs> That's what I think it is. Dilutions, diluted. And I think we can do with a little bit more black up here. Hey, let's find a nice stamp that we can use there.
Oh yes, a little bit of lace. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Come on. Okay, can you see? Nice. We'll put this away. And I think we're good to roll. Good to go. We just need some ribbon now. Should we quickly fish out some ribbon or should I? Let me glue these things on so long and then we can um, get the ribbon out. I don't know why, I believe um, Ustream has been having a problem <coughs> Excuse me with the chat. It just disappears and um, so as, as I, you work then the chat all disappears so you don't see what's happening. This table of mine is not a very good idea for streaming or YouTubing because it's very rickety and I've got my camera connected to my light so it all moves okay we're going to put the bodice onto a little pop I'm going to pop the bodice up on some foam squares I just find this less finicky than the little foam squares. This is just foam tape. I don't know how acid free it is though. That's the only problem. That's going to go there. I think I'm going to log off because I hear the baby's woken up but this is the general picture and I'll add a little ribbon and some bling I'll show you next time I'm going to log off now I'm going to choose a nice ribbon for up there in fact there's this my daughter's got a crocheting bench and this has been lying on my desk for a couple of days and I quite like the way the green is working there although it's too thick I might add some green in the bottom here oh yes just a little bit of that and I'll put some white and green ribbon on the top and I think that's done <laughs> my friend Lenny says it's like I'm streaming on a boat you're quite right look wiggle 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 I've got these cheap tables from Ikea and they're not really very sturdy and I'm quite a big girl so I make it wobble what I'm going to do is I'm going to glossy accent the shoe on another piece of paper and when it's gone hard I will um, stick it onto that block and pop it up a little bit too so that's the one tag done so next time I get an hour or so I will stream the next tag okay girls love you leave you have a great day all the best